They were paraded before a select group of journalists at a late evening news conference at the police headquarters. The four men, each with freshly stitched wounds and bandaged, sat next to the police spokesperson, Judith Navakova. Speaking in heavy Chigisu accents, the men obviously from the Mount Elgon region each narrated how they were allegedly brutally attacked. They claimed they were beaten up when rival camps belonging to Budadiri West MP-elect Nandala Mafabi and his NRM challenger Beatrice Swabdea clashed on the eve of the February 18th elections last week. They accused Nandala Mafabi of inflicting their injuries. And those who are claiming that we have, uh, we have beaten them or what, they were the people who beat us. In fact, we have a person like George Nadeke, Samuel Nadeke, we're driving, the government, there are these vehicles dressed in army uniform, as if they're army personnel. But these are grave offences that should have been immediately reported to the nearest police station, which is in Sironko. A day before the polls, regional police officers listed Sironko district among the election violence hotspots in the country, justifying the heavy deployment of armed police and UPDF soldiers there. More police officers were poured in on Tuesday this week, on the eve of the LC5 elections. But the four men say they can no longer stay in their houses because of the threat against them from Nandala. Many of those people whom we are talking about have no houses. They are just street people. They sleep here and here. But for us, our people are quiet. We have not threatened anybody. We have reported our cases to police and we want police to investigate them. So what could have led these men to bypass the Sironko police and even the regional headquarters in Bali and travel some 250 kilometers to Kampala to report the crime days after it happened? Why did they choose to report to IGP Kale Kaihura, the highest ranked officer in the police? The four have claimed that it was Nandala himself who used an axe to inflict their injuries. But the question is, why Nandala wasn't immediately arrested? Now, whether Nandala harmed these four men or not, no one can tell at the moment. But police say a team of detectives has been dispatched to the volatile Sironko district to carry out investigations. For now though, what there is are only testimonies of the accused and probably their witnesses to tell the story. Isabel Nakiria, NTV 11.